Hi Virgo, who is your soulmate? Virgo, who is your soulmate? Okay, the Priestess of Luck. Now this is someone who is very lucky, has been very blessed or lucky in life. I also feel like the circumstances when the two of you will meet will be very what you deem coincidental circumstances, but really it's a very, it's almost like luck or chance is going to play a really, really big part in how the two of you connect. I feel like, again, they've had very opportunistic um, a very opportunistic upbringing or a way of life. I feel like they've been accommodated in a lot in their life, but they're very appreciative for that with the Priestess of Luck. I also feel like you'll feel very lucky to have them and they'll feel very lucky to have you. So someone that's very grateful, someone that believes in magic and believes in things aligning in the stars. Quite metaphysical here with the Priestess of Luck as well. Okay, the Priestess of Faith. This is someone who has a lot of spiritual and or religious faith. They're all about creation. You can see the angel here creating this solar, uh, creating what looks like a solar system with the sun in her hands. So it's almost like this, you're going to be the center of their universe, so to speak. Um, it's almost like they'll be very influential over you. You'll be very influential over them. And together you'll birth and create the start of something really, really beautiful. Whether this is a family, whether this is bringing other elements into the physical realm after you've met this person, this soulmate is coming to you with faith. So I think they're very much looking for the same thing that you're looking for, Virgo, and faith is somehow bringing the two of you together. And whether this is through law of attraction, manifestation, visualization, hoping, praying, um, inviting this person into your life, I love this. I love this connection that you share. It's someone that has a lot of faith in the relationship, in you, and has a lot of faith in people. Again, this is very indicative of their character. They like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, it's almost like their, their faith is unshakable. So whether they are extremely religious or whether they are extremely spiritual, they're so stern in their beliefs. They're so embedded in their beliefs. And this is something that they'll ap apply to different areas of their life as well. But this is about birth and fertility as well. So children here, they could have a large family with this person or they're coming in with a large family, children, grandchildren, etc. Wow, the love card doesn't come around too often, Virgo, in this deck, I have to say. But the fact that it's come up for the two of you is beautiful. This is you at your tree of life meeting this other person. This is true love. This is happiness, commitment. This is something that you could enter into. And be very, very happy with this person and almost grow old with them. Um, Virgo so dedicate a whole lifetime to each other they're coming in with transformation if you can see I'm not sure if you can see that but there's this little dragonfly in between the tree here and the tree of life there's definitely major changes coming in when this soulmate comes into your life changes to your circumstances big changes big transformations it's almost like you'll be entering into a new life when this person comes in this is beautiful a very strong commitment. I think it's a very strong meeting. When the two of you meet face to face, there's a love there that's already very intense when the two of you meet. There's already a lot of emotion invested when the two of you make contact. It's a very whirlwind romance. You can see these wonderful flowers here and the, and the tree of life blossoming and growing. This is a very beautiful connection you'll have with this person. There'll be a lot of love and respect and nurturing. You see how the hands are coming, hands are coming in, Virgo. This is someone who is your equal. They don't want to be above you. They don't want to be below you. They want to be your equal. And there's a mutual understanding, love and respect between you and this person. This is beautiful. True love wonderful opportunity to have a life together to transform your lives in a really major way here as well with the priestess of love okay contemplation this is someone who's going to especially if you are quite prone which you sometimes can be virgo um, to uncertainty despair um, when you when your analytical mind needs to weigh up the pros and the cons and you need to see 
foresee things into the future and how it will all pan out because this is what you do Virgo this is how your your mind operates almost like clockwork I feel like this person is going to give you a reason to be very comfortable in your own thoughts now I like this because this shows there's a lot of security with this person Virgo this shows that with the priestess of contemplation that they're bringing in peace and clarity and harmony it's not chaotic thoughts. The priestess of contemplation looks very poised and very immersed in writing in her book of hours, writing in her book of life, and she only writes things that are worthy of writing. I feel like you'll be writing um, something together. Now, whether this is physically writing or just it's almost like you're writing a fairy tale together. As I said, there'll be a very whirlwind connection here. And when the two of you meet, you'll have a lot of memories to contemplate. And this person, again, is bringing so much harmony that you won't feel, there won't be this feeling of, I don't, what are they thinking? I don't have clarity. Where am I going? How is this going to progress forward? What are the steps I have to take to make this better? It will all just flow, Virgo, and I think you'll be extremely happy. It's almost like you'll have peace of mind and your mind will be at ease because this person is bringing so much harmony. Again, major transformations this person is bringing into your life as well. Okay, Six of Swords, they could be foreign, coming from different um, cities, countries, states, provinces, regions, towns, villages with the Six of Swords. There's uh, the boat here, so now I'm not sure if they travel by boat or they do this for work or they're traveling to you, but I also feel like this is emotional and mental growth as well or movement, which is really nice. There's, there's a maturity that's coming in around them. This is about embarking on a journey or departing from something, being daring, being bold, protection and movement. Dare to dream, Virgo, because this person is going to change a lot of things in your life, in the physical. There's something about a departure, um, starting a journey, writing. It's almost like you're going to be rewriting history or rewriting the way you see love, the way you your perception is of relationships. This is beautiful. It's also you, Virgo. Again, this, this shows departure and movement into peace, tranquility, and protection. The ship, the boat here symbolizes protection. This is someone that's very protective and doesn't want you to feel disheartened or hurt or confused. Okay, the Two of Swords. This is beautiful. The Two of Swords in this deck represents friendship, protection, collaboration. This is someone that's on the same frequency as you, Virgo. I think there's some sort of analytical energy that the two of you share together. This person is very, very much a thinker as well. And I think because of their positivity, I think they're bringing in a lot of reassurance towards you because you're both coming up upright. See how you're both, you're both on the same wavelength. You're both side to side. This is protection. This is someone that's going to stand by you, stand by the way you think about things. They're going to be someone who's going to protect you. Someone who, who is going to take you as you are, Virgo. If, whether you're over analytical or you're a perfectionist or whatever it is, they're going to accept you exactly how they are because they see you as someone upright. Look at all these swords. They see you as someone who is strong and analytical and able and progressive. And their way, your way of thinking is actually something they're looking for. So maybe they don't have this, this type of ability in their life, but you're going to add this, um, add this in their life. Very strong partnership here. You're on the same frequency. I think there's been communication for some of you. There could have been an already, there could have already been a meeting that has happened with this soulmate. For some of you, it might happen on a trip. You might also become friends first because um, the swords here rule the French rules friendships. The three of chalices. This is a celebration, healing, toast, and relief. Healing, emo building emotional foundations here. This person might be healing from something, or if you're healing from something, Virgo, they're going to come in and help you heal in some way. Again, they have a very nurturing or protective energy to them. Strong Gemini qualities, um, Libra qualities, Aquarian qualities, and possibly water. Uh, water elements here as well, Gemini, uh, excuse me, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio as well. They could be a mixture of air and water so far. 
but the three of chalices is someone that's very optimistic virgo someone that has a lot of love to give someone that craves emotional security and believes it should be reciprocated <clears throat> this celebration feeling really grateful for this relationship for this person beautiful okay the five of pentacles this person could be a mix of everything really taurus capricorn virgo energy here with the five of pentacles five of pentacles in this deck represents obstacles setbacks something to do with possessions or material gains possibly could be relationships anything in the physical realm which does you know does cover a wide variety of things but i think they've have they have had some setbacks before whether it's been in relationships whether it's been monetary setbacks business setbacks finances um, especially money or possessions there's some sort of setbacks here for them in this um, in this sort of field in their life this is possible here um it hasn't shaped it. I mean, it has shaped them to be a good person, but it hasn't changed them too much. And I think you might be coming into it. You might be coming into this person's life at a time where they're um, they're going through some sort of setback, possibly. <clears throat> because the Five of Pentacles can, you know, can be these obstacles. It might be the obstacles between you. I don't think so though I think it's more to do with their either their money situation or a business or a career or they've had setbacks in love somehow maybe okay the world this is beautiful all bets are up anything's possible this is someone who's going to introduce you to a new world I spoke about new transformations for some of you you're relocating and starting a brand new life with this person a life that you'd never probably thought you'd lead Virgo whether you're very independent and you're going to become a domesticated um, partner or you're quite domestic and int introverted and then the next thing you know you're just open that all these new doors are opening up and you're you're you feel like you're someone else but you want to invite this person in because you love the kind of energies this person brings out for you brings out in you I should say could also be foreign from a different country background nationality um, religious belief you know the boat and the world card you could meet on travels through travels this person could work in the travel industry but there's movement and foreign companies or global fame they might even have fame virgo um, on a global scale here or their work will be published to the world there's some they have a foreign link somehow okay the hermit this is virgo energy as well all right they might be similar to you in a lot of ways with the hermit card i feel like spirituality is going to bring you to the two of you together something about a journey or something about seeking new horizons this is the, the way the two of you will connect again i think they're quite similar to you in a way so i think this is why you'll complement each other the the hermit can also indicate they are someone who maybe has been on their own for quite some time maybe they feel like they're going on a spiritual journey maybe they've been trying to find themselves trying to find their passions pursue their passions career goals or pursuits in life or ticking off their bucket list maybe with the hermit again the center of the their world you'll be the center of their world look at that see how the hermit's looking towards the world card and I, I mentioned that with the tree, with the tree of life in the, in the love card here as well. It's beautiful. Okay, Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy coming through with the Queen of Swords. This is someone who's learning to be more outspoken, learning to be more vocal. This is someone who is quite direct and quite forward. If there's something going on with them, I think they're ones to express this directly, Virgo. So maybe this is you that's coming in with solitude and you like to analyze internally, but this person is very vocal and likes to vocalize externally. So I think this is where the two of you could be quite compatible because once this person says things to you, you then go and take it and do what you do with that piece of information or that piece of knowledge. But with the Queen of Swords, I feel like there's a lot of common interest between this, per this person here. Something to do with words and writing and communication. It's almost like the two of you will connect in common interests, 
um, in passion, in goals. And it's almost like the two of you could talk, 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 because you just, you have so much in common and you, you want to find out so much about each other. Wow, this is, this is very nice. A six of wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, fire, energy, conquest, success, fame, recognition. This is someone who's quite prominent. Now, they could be very creative. They could be in the um, production industry. They could be a scholar. They could be a spiritualist or a guru of some kind. I feel like they may have done some sort of work that's been uh, projected to the world and has been received upon very, very well. I feel like they have a following of some kind with the six of wands here. They're in a leadership position at work, maybe. Maybe they're the elder sibling. Maybe they just take on a very masculine or feminine alpha or alpha male or alpha female energy as well here, Virgo. This is also possible. But someone who's going to be very, very successful, you'll definitely notice them. And again, this idea of prominence and being this person being so influential over you and vice versa is coming up with the Six of Wands. Wow, this is beautiful. I almost feel like if this is you, look what you're encountering when you meet this person. A new world, conquest, admirers, leadership, faith, direct direction, communication, liberation. And this is what's coming towards you with this person, Virgo. This is beautiful. Let's have a look and see when this person is coming in. What stage in your life will you be at when this person is coming in around you? Okay, luxury, September 2nd to September 22nd. These could be the dates when you meet or when you invite this person into your life, absolutely. it's This person is coming in at a time of luxury or excessiveness. Now, this could be you making a brand new purchase of something really expensive. This could be at a time where you feel the most comfortable in your career, where you're making the most amount of money, when you're in a certain place in your life where you feel like you have everything you need because the underlying theme of luxury is excess. It's having everything you're com is is being in a very comfortable place. So I think it ha it has to do with you. Maybe you're meeting under luxury surroundings, but I think this person is coming in at a time of when you're either spoiling yourself somehow, or at a time where you feel like you have everything, Virgo. You have everything, and you're ready to invite the next the next thing in, which is maybe this loving, beautiful relationship or partnership here. So this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, Virgo. It's been a pleasure. Hopefully we'll chat soon.